240-pound weight class. Brian Unkert from New Jersey. And we're set to move into the 152-pound division. Mark Bruner from Homestead High School in Indiana, 109-15 and in his career, 38-0 and uh, this season. And Todd Pilkis from Fort Myers High School in Florida, 93-12 and overall, and he's 30-1 and this season. Well, we had uh, Mr. Bruner really had a tough match with uh, Ed Miles of Iowa in the uh, semifinals. So, uh, you know, he eliminated. And uh, once again, Florida has a great contingent down here. I was very surprised to see how young men, how many young men from Florida. But not knowing as a wrestling state, I think it's great exposure for them uh, to come down here to the national championships in Pittsburgh. And uh, there's a look at Fred Ambrose, who's the referee for this 152 pound weight class he's considered if not the best one of the best in this uh, Pennsylvania area referee and Fred Ambrose from Pittsburgh right here in Pittsburgh it'll be Bruner in the uh, green anklets and Pilkis in the red anklets as we're set for action in the 152 pound weight class Bruner quickly in on a leg and he looks strong very strong you know, surprisingly, there's two Indiana people in these uh, national finals. Uh, Indiana known more for basketball than football, but uh, uh, University of Indiana's Bob McFarland's doing something about that. Once again, feeling each other out. Did I say Bob? I meant Joe McFarland. Joe McFarland, yes. <laughs> of course. He did such a great job, I forgot his name, but Joe. Bruner with a, a brace on that right leg, or left leg, excuse me. Mark said he wanted to go somewhere in the Big Ten. Of course, with Indiana, Northwestern, Iowa, Wisconsin, all having great years this year. Uh, there's a lot of great schools in probably the best wrestling conference in the nation. Pilkis is in on a leg, in on a single. Tokus with two points for the takedown. Tokus was looking at Lehigh and Drake. Uh, Lehigh, you hear their name mentioned a lot more now. They've really made a concerted effort in the last three years to bring that great Lehigh program back to national prominence. Two points on the escape, uh, or one point, should I say, on the escape for uh, Bruner, and two points on the near fall for Pilkis from Florida. Four to one. Bruner trying to get in on the leg. These uh, two young men could pass for brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep looking at the red and the green. Almost at the end of the period, and that is the end of the first period. And at the end of one period, in the 152-pound weight class, Todd Pilkis from Fort Myers High School in Florida leading Mark Bruner from Homestead High School in Indiana by a score of 4-1. to one. Bruner will start from the down position in period number two. Bruner trying to stand up. Pilkis trying to retain control but he can't there's a one point escape for Bruner and they both go off the mat they'll start in the neutral position you know you're looking at Pilkis his uniform there uh, if they were a little more technical that's a freestyle outfit and that would be illegal in a normal high school meet but of course freestyle is so popular Lately, uh, the method that I guess they're letting him wear the uniform also, but uh, normally that would be uh, ineligible, that uh, particular type of uniform worn by Todd Pilkus. And there's a one-point escape for Bruner as he gets away from Pilkus. It's now 6-3, Pilkus with the advantage. A minute 27 seconds remaining, second period. Bruner 
Porter trying to shoot in on a leg. Oh, and he backed him up, and he got two points for the takedown. And he also got hit right in the nose by the uh, that forehead of Bruner. Pilkus, and, I think, and, is uh, hurt. Ambrose is looking at him right now. Boy, he really got nailed in the nose when Bruner was shooting that time. I think he hurt the uh, the knee, too. Taking a good look at him as they call the trainer in. They have the clock over Pilkus. Bruner from Indiana. As we said in the past, that state's been known for a lot of things other than wrestling, but uh, uh, I think now they're making... Thank you, George, and I'm with the top official right now. And your name, sir? Bob Coletta. Bob, where are you from? Easton, Pennsylvania. Easton, you're another guy from the that's, east part of the state. Right, that's, uh, I'm, we live in the home of uh, Larry Holmes and Bobby Weaver uh, and uh, Jack Kubo. So I guess you could compare this sport to boxing, so you're very familiar. Oh, yes, yes, the boxing stuff. You wrestler in high school? Yeah, I wrestled for Easton High School, and I was a uh, runner-up in the district. That's very good, and we'll talk to you again later on, sir. Thank you. Now back to George and Mike. All right, we resume action as uh, Tilkis is all right. He's in the down position. Tilkis with a 6-5 to five advantage over Mark Bruner with 57 seconds remaining in the second period. Working on that chicken wing. Potentially dangerous hold called on Bruner. Yeah, the arm came up a little high. Right now, Pilkus is thinking that every hold that is, potentially, is dangerous. potentially dangerous. He's uh, not a happy young man at this point in this match with 51 seconds to go in the second period. Six to five, still anybody's match. Bruner retaining control. Pilk is trying to stand up, and he reversed him for two points, and he has an 8-5 to five advantage. 29 seconds remaining, second period. Pilk is tosses Bruner to the floor. He's trying to cradle. He's trying to far cradle right now, and they'll move him back into the center of the mat with 12 seconds remaining second period. Well, Mr. Pilkus for looking so distraught all through this match has a nice 8-5 to five lead. And he's 30-1 and one on the year, one defeat. State champ out of Florida. Pilkus once again. Four seconds. Trying to hang time. on. And we just got a two-point reversal at the end of that second period for Mark Bruner, and that really tightens this match up at 8-7 to seven in favor of Pilkus as we move to period number three. Well, as I said, George, he didn't have enough time, Bruner, and <laughs> he came up with <laughs> a quick two and made it 8-7, and a great move by Bruner right at the end of the period. As we start the action in the third period, Pilkus will be in the down position. position and Pilkus lost his headgear. He's trying to sit out and they stopped it. Ambrose with a yeah, uh, potentially, potentially dangerous, dangerous yes. hold. Yes, no doubt about it. Good call by the official. And Pilkus uh, hurt his arm a little bit in that melee. Well, that's why they stopped it. <laughs> it definitely he was showing the rep that it was potentially dangerous. I wonder what kind of attendance, George, we would have had in uh, Oklahoma on this uh, uh, their state championships at Gallagher at Ohio or Oklahoma State. It was a sellout this year. It seats 6,000. I think they had 7,200 at the state finals. They turned 1,000 away. Uh, but, of course, Pennsylvania and Iowa, they always have their sellouts every year. And uh, uh, the Oklahoma people were saying uh, uh, they would stand in line as state champs if it was held at their place. And the Iowa people said the same thing. So I think it's up to Pennsylvania next year to show that... Uh, they are deserving of such a great tournament as this national championship. 
an arm bar. And they stopped him again with a potentially dangerous hold. Bruner. He wants to know just why is it potentially dangerous. He always has a good advantage. It's three times now it has been taken away from him, but uh, it is going up on the back, and it still is. Eight to seven, a great match here. 126 left. Bruner still in control. He's trying to turn him. Once again, he's in on that arm, and he's been called for that before because it's illegal to force a joint in a way it does not move. That time he looked up <laughs> to the Hilkes referee. has two points for the reversal, and that may have iced it now at 10 to 7 with 49 seconds remaining. They both go off the mat. They'll move them back into the center of the mat. Pilkis from the state of Florida, leading Mark Bruner from Homestead High School in Indiana, 10 to 7, with 42 seconds remaining in the third period. Pilkis uh, uh, beat Lamont from uh, Mr. Lamont was from Utah uh, in the uh, semifinals here, and that was an extremely close match, also three to two. Interesting note on Todd Pilkis, uh, he won the kids' division four times for the AAU National Championship, so he's been a champion before. He has 93 wins in high school, and like Mr. Walker in the 145-pounder, he's had just hundreds of other matches in the summertime. Bruner trying to stand up as they go off the mat. 13 seconds left. There's going to have to be something big by Pilkis or excuse me, Mr. Bruner, <laughs> to get back into this match as Todd Pilkis has a three-point lead. And they're set to go. He needs an escape and a takedown to tie this up. Can he get it in 13 seconds? Well, he can if he's awful quick with the escape. Not like that. Four seconds, three seconds. He did not get it. And no control. Todd Pilkis from Fort Myers High School in Florida has defeated Mark Bruner from Homestead High School in Indiana in the 152-pound weight division as Pilkis decisions Bruner by a score of 10 to 8. So Todd Pilkis is the national champion in the 152-pound division. And that's Florida's only representative in the finals, and uh, he becomes a state champion. So Florida has something... Definitely be proud of in Mr. Pilkus. Pilkus going over to receive the congratulations of uh, coaches. And there are some states other than the uh, big five of Oklahoma, Iowa, Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York, New Jersey, and California, as we're seeing here tonight, George. And uh, Pilkus uh, is making his way. I don't know if uh, to the, our man uh, Jim Herbstra here in a couple of seconds as he's coming across the mat right now. And a lot of these young men, I think, would rather face an opponent than be they, interviewed at the end of the match. They don't want to face Jim Herbstra. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> take it away, Jimmy. Thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate that. We're with Todd Pilkas, Todd, national champion. You're Florida's only representative. It's got to feel good. Feels great. Couldn't can make up another moment like this. <laughs> you really had a tough match. It took you till about the third period before you finally pulled away. It was an excellent match. Thank you. It was very uh, energetic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Todd. I'll let you go back and celebrate your victory. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And we'll be back with more of the National High School Wrestling Championships with George Von Benko and Mike Rice right after this. 